the cost of living crisis has had really far-reaching effects. We've explored pretty much every angle here on the channel. But as people try to reduce their spend and cut back on life's luxuries, perhaps some unexpected sides of life have been affected. Yeah, it's the rising cost of funerals, forcing many people to borrow money to give their loved ones a decent send-off. And in many cases, people are having to abandon the idea of a funeral altogether. Well, our southwest of England reporter, Jeff Moody, has been to meet a funeral director who's concerned about the rising cost of dying. The polished hearses, the fresh flowers, the coffin. The way we say goodbye doesn't come cheap, and when you throw in rising energy and fuel prices, the cost of dying is the highest it's ever been. Michael Peace is part of a family firm of undertakers in Hampshire that has been providing services to the community for over 60 years. On our premises here we've got a number of uh, refrigeration units that we have to run continuously to look after deceased in the appropriate and, and, um, and the best manner. And so those costs are going up and of course we have to sometimes pass those things on to the client. The average price of a funeral has now tipped £4,000 but in a new report from Sun Life, one in five say they are shocked at how expensive a funeral is. A third of people haven't saved enough for their own funeral and many are now taking out loans or opting for a no-frills cremation without fuss, without ceremony, without mourners. And for example, the crematorium here locally may do what's called a direct cremation service, so that keeps the cost to a minimum as well. Um, I think that they're you know, an extremely good option for people who, who are concerned about what they're spending on funerals, but are able to do it in a dignified and professional way. But there is a concern. Funerals are part of the whole grieving process, from the cars, to the flowers, to the coffin. And the worry is, if you dispense with too much of that, you're not grieving properly, and you're storing up trouble for the future. But obviously one of the challenges, and I think we saw this quite clearly with the, the Queen's funeral recently, is there is a... There is a desire on the part of lots of people to say farewell or pay their respects in person. And actually that can be quite helpful for the grieving process. So it's very definitely not a choice for everyone. So says the National Association of Funeral Directors. But there's help at hand. The funeral expenses payment is a one-off means-tested payment designed to support people on benefits. In recent years, protest group Fair Funerals has been urging the government to step in and help further, ensuring everyone has the chance of a dignified farewell. Don't wait until you're grieving to start thinking and talking to your family about funeral costs, because the fact is that when we are grieving, uh, we're not able to act very often as savvy consumers. Um, so unfortunately, we can end up spending more than we can afford on funerals. Debt and rising costs are a huge part of our lives at the moment. The hope is those debts don't become a part of our deaths too. Jeff Moody, GB News.